when shooting photography, over time, you find the lenses that you like, the ones you don't like, your go-tos, the occasional lenses, and the ones you rent because they're just too expensive. But today I'm talking about my three go-to, AKA my three favorite Fujifilm lenses. What are your three favorite lenses? Let me know down in the comments below. If you don't have three, if you have four, five, one, just let me know. But you can find the links to all of the gear I mentioned in this video in the description down below, plus a link to get 10% off your first 12 month subscription to Epidemic Sound and the 30 day free trial. Your 30 day free trial gives you access to Epidemic Sound's massive library of music and sound effects to use for your projects. And when you download anything off Epidemic Sounds, all of it is yours forever, but take advantage of the 30 day free trial. And if you like, subscribe and get your 10% off your first 12 months. With that out of the way, disclaimer, I use multiple camera bodies and I will be making more than one video about my three favorite lenses based on each camera body. But since we're starting off with Fujifilm, I am going to start off with the XF 10 to 24 F4. I enjoy using this lens, especially with the Fujifilm X-H1. When pairing the two for real estate photography, I put the camera in partial manual mode. So I control the ISO, the shutter speed with the top dials on the camera, and I control the aperture with the aperture ring on the lens. I keep the camera in autofocus and auto white balance, and I typically lock off the ISO at 400, and I keep the aperture at either eight or nine, and I control the exposure with the shutter speed only. On the wide end, this is a 15 millimeter full frame equivalent, so it is wide, and there is some distortion on the edges, which can be corrected when editing, but this lens really complements the space when trying to showcase the size of a room. On the long end of the lens, it is a 36 millimeter full frame equivalent, which I think is great for detail shots, especially when it comes to compression. When capturing a small home on a massive lot, I usually step back and zoom in a bit to make the place look larger than life, but it is a versatile lens that allows you to vlog on the wide end, take wide landscape shots, astral and portraits at F4. You might have to fight for light at times, but I mostly use the lens for real estate photography and I keep it at F8 or F9, so F4 doesn't really matter to me. It may matter to you, so do keep that in mind, but this is my favorite lens because of what I use it for. It allows me to take my Fujifilm X-H1 out and capture homes. Next up is the XF 16-55 f2.8 the 16 to 55 is a great lens for video because it is wide enough for establishing shots wide enough for talking heads and the occasional vlog style when you need to quickly say something but you don't want to pull out the 10 to 24. on a tight end it is a 82.5 full frame equivalent which is great when you can't get close enough to your subject this lens lives on my fujifilm xh1 when i am not using it for real estate photography Last but not least, the XF 35mm f1.4. This is my go-to lens for street photography, mainly because it is compact on the X-H1 and because of the wider aperture. It is a 52.5 full frame equivalent. When out shooting street photography, I usually keep the lens at f4 or f8, which is great for when wanting to get as much scene and focus as possible. It is a phenomenal portrait lens. And these are my three favorite Fujifilm lenses. Let me know what your three favorite lenses are down in the comments below. It doesn't matter which system you use, but you can learn more about my favorite interchangeable Fujifilm camera, the X-H1, right here. Thanks for joining. Stay awesome.